<clears throat> Thank you, Amy. And good evening, everybody here. And we are so happy that we have a chance to say something about our nation, our people. These are Uyghurs live in uh, western province of China. This region is called Uyghur Autonomous Region. Uyghurs, and they live in the heart of Eurasia. These are typical young men, Uyghur young men and young girl in traditional dress. Uyghurs are Turkic people. They live in China, they speak Turkish, and they are Muslims. They live in China and Central Asia. In ancient time, they were masters of Silk Road, and they contributed uh, to invent papers, paper and then printing technology. Uyghur means civilized, united, And this is United States, and this is China, and the blue part is Uyghur Autonomous Region. And Uyghurs are native to this land. And this is the, the biggest city in Uyghur region. It's called Urumqi, and this is capital city of the Autonomous Region. This is a mostly modern city, and some part of the city is traditional. And Urumqi is the biggest city, about 3-4 million people. And Uyghurs are the children of Asian civilized nation in Central Asia. And that the left part is this one is the picture on the wall paintings 1,500 years ago. And the, this one is the Tarim mummy, 4,000 years old. She's a European type of person. And Uyghurs have their own language, their own culture, and it's still now they're using their language and then uh, their writing system until today. And Uyghurs have rich culture, including amazing food culture. And this is uh, a river called Tarim. The ensemble's name uh, came from this river. This is the major river in this region. And I would like to show some pictures about our children in this region. These are the children in the rural area. In Uyghur region, you can find different sceneries like forests, rivers, also the second biggest, second largest desert in the world. And thank you everybody in Detroit Lakes. And now I would like to invite Tarim Ansabal. Welcome Tarim Ansabal. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Warmly welcome to enjoy our performance. Here is the China Xinjiang Tarim Dance and Song Ensemble. Now, let's begin our performance. The first performance is Uyghur folk music, Usha Mukam. 
Uyghur people have a Tua Mukam. Today, here is the first Mukam, Ushak Mukam. Please enjoy.
We go full dance, bounce on the head. Dancer, Dana and the Dildar.
Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, let me introduce our player and our Uyghur instruments. My name is Dilber Omlet. This is Kashkar Awab. My name is Mahmoud. This is Rawa. My name is Mirzat Mukhtar. This is Pes Rawa. My name is Rose Mohammed. This is Tambur. My name is Parat Yasin. This is Dab. <laughs> My name is Mohammed Iman. This is Tash. My name is Kaiser Osman. This is Uyghur Chang. My name is Rahman Ibrahim. This is Ney. My name is Gilnur Imin. This is Rejek. My name 
Yunus Tursun Bilal. This is Dutlar. My name is Mihriyun Abliz. This is Satar. Now please enjoy Uyghur folk music, Tarim. Tarim is the very long, great, and a beautiful river in our hometown. Please enjoy.
Now please enjoy Ajax solo Mukam. Player Gunnar Imen.
now please enjoy Uyghur solo dance, Love of the Flowers. Dancer, Nilfer Tayir. homeland. Please enjoy.
Now please take a short rest and come back after 15 minutes. Please. Now please enjoy Uyghur folk music, Tashvai.
now the performance is Uyghur folk dance, Happy Life. Dancer, Dildar, and the Perhat Yasin.
Now please enjoy Ney Solo Spring. Player Rahmanjan Ibrahim. Uyghur solo dance Atush. Dancer Rana Abdikerim.
Now please enjoy Uyghur folk music, Sabah. Now please enjoy Uyghur song, solo song, Dear My Friend. Player, Dilber Kiz.
Now, please enjoy Uyghur folk dance, Nazarkom.
Thank you so much, Tarin. What a wonderful pleasure to have you here. What a gift to our community. Thank you so much. I would now like to introduce you all to Tarsoon, who will help with any questions and, and answers that you might, guys might have. Feel free to move closer to the front, too, if you'd like. So please help me welcome Tarsoon. Thank you, everybody. And what do you think about that? Thank you. If you have any question, now you have some time to ask question. And Becky helps me. Who is the youngest in the group? She is the youngest one. She is Nilufar. Can you tell me, please, if any of your music is written down and can it be translated to Western musical equipment? Uh, any music? You, okay. Uh, then, Tashwai. Uh, did, uh, I didn't get your uh, the question then? Down. Yes. Could, could, could it be played by Western instruments? Yes, I yes, and I have a note. If anyone needs that, I have note of music. So uh, any of them, all of them can be written, and then uh, Western the musical instrument can play that. All of them. Thank you so much. You you are consummate professionals and. Your costumes are so very beautiful, and it seems like you're from a hidden corner of the world that I've never seen. What a pleasure. Um, I'm wondering if any of uh, the performers are related. Are you all traveling individually? And, yeah. Okay. Aldo Valencia, Captain Cooper, Ahmed, Edith, Lennon, Kolaki, Shunda, Chirala, Musicanla, Shunjik, Chirala, Kimanla. Men de slänen dunjana det är spel med dragan. Jag är brydd om att jag inte ska göra det där. Måste nog inte det. Kajsangla, måste. Men sen måste nog inte det. Tukkanla var med det. Men sen det. Måste måste det bättre. Mother, daughter. Do you have any on that side, Amy? I just want the group to know that um, in 2006, I was in Wulamochi. I taught English to Chinese students uh, in your wonderful city. And watching your performance tonight brought back wonderful memories of the wonders of wonderful hospitality you showed me when I was in your city. I enjoyed you immensely. Thank you. Yaz yaz pesede yazlık tatilde bayılıp ürümcük bağan ve aşağıdaki cumhurluk okuşlara hangi okuşlara İngilizce ders ödüken hem aşağıdaki halkının yurlarının intayın mihman dost kızgın mamlısıdan tesirlenken bugün senin oyunlan görüşüke müyesser buldum hakikaten huzurlandım tesirlendim. Thank you. At this time you're welcome to come to Urumqi again and then teach some English to them and Uyghur students. Many of the performances that they have here at the Holmes Theater have CDs that we can purchase. And I was, I think several of us probably tonight would have liked to have purchased CDs. So if we want to listen to this music again, um, how do we do that? Just YouTube or you know something online? Perfect. Hazır bu hanım dedi. Müşede müşü müzik lanı anlaş için bize bunu ketken stek etkendi ki çok müşü müzik lanı seyredim. Bize müşü müzik ne? Stek müzik lanı anlaş için biz sitede vakıl bulduğan CD ya ki müşte bir nesle bağımı esli biz koysak bu pike bir yerken. Mesela biraz nesle. Hem stek etkendi ki biz kandak anlayımız dedi. And then, uh, for more information about Uyghurs, you can Google it. Google Uyghurs, 
U Y G H U R. And then also you can find uh, many performances about Uyghurs uh, on YouTube. Uh, after a while, I'll put the whole uh, the show onto YouTube. You can listen again. Thank you. Thank you. I could also uh, add, sorry, Tristan, if you go to artsmidwest.org, you can also learn more about um, Tarim on there, as well as all the other groups that we've had in Detroit Lakes. And mark your calendars. Is Janet still here? Janet from Bemidji? This is Janet from Bemidji, everyone. She's with the wonderful Headwaters School of Arts and Music in Bemidji. And they are the lucky community in Minnesota that will have be a host for all the World Fest groups uh, next season and the year after that. And if any of you remember the Israeli group that we had here, the Israeli Ensemble, two of the members from that group will be back there in Bemidji next spring. Yep, next March. And the first group they'll have next fall is a wonderful group from Quebec. So go to Bemidji, but of course come to the Holmes Theater too. I had a question. First of all, my granddaughter and I would like to thank you for sharing your beautiful culture and your beautiful music. It really touched our hearts. It, was, it felt good to hear it. And I had a question about the hats. Okay. The men, I noticed their point comes here, but the women sits like this, and I was wondering if there was a reason for that. Okay, very good question. Aldıblan silenin güzel müzik anla, güzel medeniyet anla ağa rahmet edemem. Biz bir yengeçe bir vuzur zok ap geldi anla. Müzik ile hakikaten yürgün bir tekdi. Hatta benden küçük nevrem mu? Şunda vuzurlandı. Hem de mesela bir sual sormak için silenin dubbanla hakikaten. Nemishka oğulla dopsni, men kuchini yaqib kiydi, qizla nanki abiyam qilgan dopsning nemisi, mat bir tarbini yaq, dopni ki shakliga. Misol diqqat qildi, masalan, Mehrgulning dopsi, nemishqa menda qaraydim, oğullarning dopsi menda ucha qaraydi deb. You can wear this. It's called doppa. This yeah. You can wear that and then, yeah, usually they can wear like this or like this. And if you have the uh, same culture with uh, Uzbeks, Uzbekistan people, and then, so they also wear like this. You can wear this this way and then that way. And then uh, maybe you can, you notice the top of the dopa hat uh, looks like Pyramid. Yes. Top of the head is pyramid. Not English, but I'm a pyramid. Yeah. I, I'm curious about how many generations back or centuries back their instruments go. Are, is, are they very, very old? Uh, you mean this uh, culture, this Uyghurs? Their instruments. The instruments. Oh, okay. Uh, for example, Dutta Kene came up. Dutta Tursun. Okay. Dutta Kene? Okay. Actually, Sizinki, Sizan Kanjik, what told him to Tamburga? That can I throw? Kanjik was up while he was in the Assam. Yakimus Tamburunke Tarahi. Messes Sizan Tamburunus. For example, this one is new. Five years, and this is the newest one. And this one is 60 years old. This is from his grandfather. And most of the musical instruments are like a violin, and then they, the musical instruments come to generation to generation. This is third generation. I would like to know about the women's braids. They're very long hair. Is that cultural? It's cultural. Okay. It's They're cultural, beautiful. and it's cultural. And it used to, uh, in the past, all girls, women, had long hair. It's traditional. Still now, uh, many of them like to have long hair. Uh, some of them 
now it's just for stages, just because in traditional dress, so two of them, they are hair, are not real, just. <laughs> but would, yeah, they are supposed to be, uh, yeah, like, like that, the hairs. The traditional like that. I would like to know about the middle instrument. We can't see its strings, and is it similar to a xylophone, or? This is Uyghur Chang. This is Uyghur Chang. And then according to researchers and then uh, according to musicians, it has about 4,000 years. And this, the similar instruments are in Iran, North America, European countries like Romania, and then many places. And this kind of cultural, the relation between nations, but uh, our people believe this Uyghur, Uyghur Chang is the oldest and original. Are there any other questions? Otherwise, we have one request uh, for the dancers and the uh, with the, the beautiful costumes to come a little bit closer on stage so everyone can see them. Yeah, a little bit better. Yeah, can I have the best and last line of the key? Melania, Tamash Balarams, in a half curvasa. When that's Pesk Shulabums, Pesk Sangla, Yakra Kasum. Shindama. Maybe after that, um, you may take a picture maybe with them, come to stage. Thank you. Thank you everyone for coming. Thank you for your